One of the things I like best about this trip to Costa Rica, as well as when I traveled to Panama, is that the countries are incredibly diverse. I love going on photo safaris and capturing great images, but if I'm on day three of shooting the same thing, I tend to get a little bored, and I tend to not really grow that much creatively. For me, it's all about the challenge, and Costa Rica was a very challenging place to shoot. You're gonna find great landscapes, very huge diversity in those landscapes, because you're gonna be traveling from very low points all the way down to ocean level to very high points where you're up in the mountains. This is going to affect how you shoot and it's gonna be important that you're comfortable with those altitude changes. Now, I found that most people were very willing to let me shoot them and make a portrait. It's a courtesy to ask permission. The country is Spanish speaking, although many people also speak English, particularly because of the tourism industry. So it's always a good idea to be polite and ask for permission before you shoot a portrait of an individual. Now, this is a country that is all about tourism, particularly ecotourism. If you enjoy sports like zip lining, kayaking, scuba diving, snorkeling, all of those and more are in that country. They are used to having tourists, they like tourists, and they are very friendly. I recommend, though, that you take advantage of using a guide to make it easier, and I'll discuss that more a little bit later. For me, the urban environments reminded me a lot of most Spanish cities I've been to. There was a lot of clear influence from the countries of Spain and Portugal on the country. But once you got out into the rural environments and the farming and agricultural areas, it was absolutely stunning. Whether you like shooting animals and doing close-up wildlife, plenty of opportunities, or just beautiful wide vistas and landscapes, killer sunsets and great time-lapse opportunities, as well as lots of opportunity to shoot really compelling HDR. Costa Rica is a country of incredible diversity, and we spent two solid weeks there. In fact, I probably could have spent two more because there was tons of things we didn't get to see and shoot. But like most of you, a two-week vacation is a pretty long vacation, and it might be all that you have. But if you're going to go all the way to the country, I would strongly recommend that you do your best to extend it beyond the traditional week. Otherwise, limit the number of places you travel to because your travel days will consume time. Much of the country has a pretty rough road system. Going just a few miles in parts of the country could take several hours because the van you were in is bouncing up and down continuously and going about three miles an hour. Or you might find yourself doing water-based transportation and water taxis or even small air travel to get from parts of the country to the other. This is a country that as you move from one zone to the other will often take a bit of time. Now, other parts of the country, perfectly easy to travel to. There are areas that are very tourist friendly and some of the national parks that are super easy to get to. Costa Rica is a country with incredible diversity. So make sure you've budgeted enough time to get from one location to another and consider interacting with some guides to make that process a bit easier.